This is the most dangerous thing we do every single day. Let me tell you a story. So I'm in my car, I'm driving home on a late night. It was a cold, rainy night in December. It's dark, it's late, it's nighttime. I picked a nice day to film this video actually. The perfect ambiance. So I'm on these country roads, it's wet, it's dangerous, it's dark, and I'm driving pretty fast down these twists and turns in the country road. And I'm also, I'm not feeling so good. I feel a bit dizzy, I feel a bit strange, but I just want to get home. I look across at my phone attached to the dashboard and I'm trying to search for something. I'm typing something into the phone while I'm driving. And the details won't matter very soon. I'm keeping one eye on the road. And suddenly there's headlights in my eyes. There's a small scooter coming along the opposite way of the road. And I'm in completely the wrong part of the road. But it's too late. I slam the brakes, but the car didn't stop. It skids along. It's like I'm sliding on ice. And time slows down. There's just me, my car, and this man on his moped. And this man, he's probably heading home after a long day of work probably overworked and underpaid. Probably he has a loving wife and three wonderful little kids waiting for him to come home and hug them so tightly as they call out, daddy, daddy. And they probably should be asleep at this point because it's so late. And soon he'll be home in bed with his wife, all nice and warm and dry. But my stupidity is about to get in the way of that. The heavy rain is pattering on the glass of the windscreen and the metal of my car. The rubber on my windscreen wipers are screeching across the screen in slow motion. And the great big globules of rain seem to be floating in the air in the slowed down time. If I hit him, he will not live. I'm certain of that. And it seems impossible to avoid that. But slowly I turn my head and I see it. There is a choice for me. Only one other option left. I cry a little bit in this moment. This could be it. A large tree trunk loomed over us both on the side of the road. If I just turn my wheel slightly to the left, this is not a good alternative. A head-on collision at this speed? <sighs> Why? Why am I so stupid? Going on my phone while I'm driving, I'm usually the person that tells other people off for this. I tell my friends when they're on the phone to me when they're driving, I say, stop talking to me, focus on the road, we'll get there when we get there. I'm the one that tells them off, and now here I am. I'm thinking all of these thoughts in one millisecond of time, and then I think, well, I guess this is how it ends. This is so stupid, so pathetic. But I have a choice to make, I need to focus right now. Time's running out, stop hesitating, decide now. Will it be him or will it be me? Decide now. I grit my teeth and say one last prayer, hoping I made the right choice. Goodbye. Boom, I open my eyes and I'm staring at the popcorn ceiling of my bedroom. The rain is quietly pattering my bedroom window. It was a dream. I get out of my bed and I walk to the other window and my car is there in the driveway not a scratch on it. And I slowly come to terms with the fact that that was a dream. It wasn't real. And I have a small conversation with myself. That was not so unrealistic. That could have actually happened. And so easily. And on that day, I made myself a promise. Always take driving seriously. Because it is the most dangerous thing that we do every single day. And this is a dream I have quite often, right? The story changes sometimes, but usually I'm in my car driving and I have some sort of loss of control. I feel dizzy, I feel sick, sometimes drunk even, even though I don't drink. I'm always struggling to control the car and I have this overwhelming feeling of guilt in the whole dream. And it's true, unless you work in some kind of bear trap factory, driving is the most dangerous thing you do every single day. Any mode of transport is safer, right? A bus, a train, a plane, probably a motorbike is the only exception here, but maybe less than 1% of the population rides a motorbike. But all of us drive a car, or at least you've been driven in a car. And that's just that most people quote, right? Like, flying a plane is actually 12 times safer than driving a car, I'll have you know. A roller coaster is actually 132 times safer than driving a car. Right, like even bungee jumping, skydiving, all these things are safer than driving a car. Like, think about that for a second. Literally jumping off a bridge with a piece of rope attached to your ankle, or even jumping out of a plane, is safer than driving a car. That should blow your mind. It almost makes me never want to drive a car ever again. And yet, most people would comfortably drive a car rather than do any of these things. It's so easy to forget. And so when we're driving along, it feels safe. We get comfortable and we allow things to distract us. I've had friends in the past who got into minor crashes because they looked down at their phone for just a second. I've seen women drive to work doing their makeup in the mirror. I've heard stories of a mother turning around to see their kids in the backseat and then colliding with another vehicle. It is such a common thing. I've even been in some minor accidents in my lifetime and luckily I'm still here to tell the tale, but I could just as easily not be. And that is something that I need to remember every time I step into this car. So that's the message I wanna pass on to you. This is dangerous. It's very dangerous. You probably have a story of your own of something horrible happening as a result of a car crash. Use that memory. If you don't have one, then use my story. Use it to remind you. Remember, each time you're tempted to pick up your phone, remember that you're in charge of a very dangerous two-ton vehicle that could end a life like that. Or maybe you're not old enough to drive yet. Maybe you're in the passenger seat. 
don't distract the driver. Don't, don't do something silly like tickle the driver. That's stupid. That's not funny. And if he's on his phone, take that phone away from him. Tell him, look, I'll type for you. You keep your eyes on the road, all right? That's a change you can make. And on that note, if you are driving with passengers, remember that it's not just you that you're putting in danger. It's the people that you care about, right? Your friends, your family, your wife, your kids, you're putting them in danger. And even without that, they are very real people on the roads today that share the road with you, who drive along with you, like the man in the scooter, right? They have a life of their own, a wife and kids and a family, whoever they are, they will be missed. Just because you don't know them, it doesn't mean that they aren't real people. So if not just for you, then do it for them your family, your friends, and other people who have all these people in their lives, real lives of their own, and people who will miss them when they go, who will be torn apart by the agony of mourning this person who is no longer there. At least don't be selfish. And if you're on a long journey and you're tired and you're driving through the night, then pull over, take that rest, don't risk things. Because look, driving a car is the most dangerous thing we do every day. But we're not gonna stop doing that anytime soon, okay? We're gonna keep driving our cars. I'm gonna keep driving too. So at least take the precaution. Be extra careful. Every time you sit in the car, remember, look, this is a very dangerous activity I'm doing. I need to be very, very careful. Turn my phone off, put it on silent. If you wanna text someone or change the song or something like that, just pull over and do that. It's so easy to pull over. There is no rush. There is no distraction that is worth a human life. Remember that. Always remember how dangerous a car can be. And with that being said, I hope you lodged that very important piece of information deep inside your brain. Thank you so much for watching. Knowledge is power and the power is yours. Take care.